The Communist Party of China celebrates its centennial this year. It's been a hundred years transforming China from a country that was rampant with warlords, imperialist powers and corruption into the world's second largest economy. How did the CPC turn the tables? To answer this question, we need to know a few facts about the CPC. One, hundreds of groups had tried to save China, but only the CPC made it. In 1911, during the Qing Dynasty, China's last feudal dynasty was overthrown, but the revolution force failed to establish a strong government. By the end of 1913, 312 political party-like emerging groups had been formed. They experimented with different Western political systems and philosophies, but they all failed because those systems were not compatible with China's national conditions. However, the Communist Party of China rose to the occasion. When the party was founded in 1921, it had nearly 50 plus members. In the next century, its membership increased to over 95 million members, making it the largest political party in the world. Two, the CPC ended a century of humiliation. In 1840, the corrupt Qing government lost the Opium War waged by Britain, leading to massive imports of opium into China. In the next hundred years, almost all the imperialist countries invaded China. The party fought for 28 years, striving to restore the soul of the country with independence and unity, and to give the people back their dignity. Three. The CPC tackled the unequal distribution of land ownership. Back in 1930, in rural areas of Jiangxi province, the landowners who made up 3.4% of the rural population owned more land than all the rest of the farmers combined. According to statistics, nearly 90% of Chinese people in 1949 were considered rural populations. Therefore, the CPC launched a land reform campaign that championed land to the tiller. By the end of 1952, 46.5% of the country's arable land had been turned over to 300 million Chinese peasants through the reform. Four, the CPC set long-term development goals for China. Beginning in 1953, the CPC formulated five-year plans every five years to set the goals and directions for the nation's economic development. Different waves of governments have worked in relays to ensure the smooth implementation of each five-year plan. Since the first five-year plan period to feed 400 million Chinese people, millions of volunteers turned barren wasteland into nearly 100 million new farmland. Over 2,000 state-run farms are still in operation to this day, filling the granaries for one-fifth of the world's population. The CPC set out to combat illiteracy throughout the first five-year plan to the tenth five-year plan. In 1949, when New China was founded, the national illiteracy rate was as high as 80%. In 2020, China's illiteracy rate dropped to 2.67%. By the end of 2020, the operating mileage of China's high-speed railways reached 37,900 kilometers, resulting in a solid number one in the world. Five, 93.1% of the Chinese people are satisfied with the central government. A study conducted by the Harvard Kennedy School between 2003 and 2016 showed that since the start of the survey in 2003, Chinese citizens' satisfaction with the government has increased virtually across the board, reaching 93.1 percent by 2016. What contributes to the impressive satisfaction level? Here are some hints. Six. China contributes over 70 percent of global poverty alleviation efforts. The CPC has prioritized poverty alleviation in its governance. By the end of 2020, China had eradicated extreme poverty. 770 million impoverished rural residents in China have been lifted out of poverty. By the World Bank standard, China contributed more than 70% to global poverty reduction in the same period. 7. Every member who joins the CPC must pledge to serve the people. The CPC doesn't work for any interest group but represents the fundamental interest of the greatest possible majority of the Chinese people. The CPC members are from all walks of life, so they can listen to the voices of the masses. Therefore, the CPC has upheld serving the people wholeheartedly as its fundamental purpose. In the face of major disasters and accidents, CPC members would also rush to the front line to protect the people. Eight, the CPC can pool all resources and coordinate all efforts to complete key national undertakings. In early 2020, when the coronavirus epidemic broke out, the CPC rushed to the aid of Hubei, the area hardest hit by COVID-19. In less than two months, 42,600 medical staff were mobilized across the country to Hubei. The construction of the Hoshin Shen Hospital was completed in just 10 days, and the Nation Shen Hospital in just 12 days. In 10 short days, 16 temporary treatment centers providing over 14,000 beds were built. As of June 29, 2021, China has administered over 1.2 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccines, accounting for 40% of the 3 billion shots administered globally. It took the country just four days to climb from 1.1 billion doses to 1.2 billion.
That's a vivid demonstration of how China concentrates its efforts in response to major affairs.